Hi guys, I'm back with the facts and benefits of CMOS. And this is just to give you a briefing. I'm on health.com on the internet. And um, I hope that this helps you guys understand. And you can also look it up yourself. But I'm just going to read some stuff. And then I'm going to make my CMOS smoothie, which was delicious yesterday. And I will give you guys an update on how I'm feeling. Okay? Okay, so first of all, CMOS is a type of algae which has been part of the human diet for thousands of years. In addition to being consumed historically in places like the Caribbean and Ireland, sea moss has been used medically in the other cultures for decades to treat conditions ranging from the coughs and infectious to, to low, libido, low libido. The benefits aren't well researched. The research is scant on the effectiveness and safety of sea moss for various health outcomes. This includes a lack of knowledge about potential side effects, interactions with medications, herbs, or other supplements, proper dosage, and precaution based on various medical conditions. Studies on the benefits of CMOS for disease like cancer and Alzheimer's, and as well as how it impacts immunity, have been conducted in labs or with animals, and they haven't used standardized forms of CMOS. This leaves unanswered questions about the idea use of sea moss for humans. There is a lot we don't know. While there is, there is a growing interest in algae as a functional food, a food with benefits beyond the nutrients it contains, there are many variables to consider. Algae may be rich in minerals and antioxidants, but the digestibility and bioavailability a bioavailability of nutrients isn't well understood. In other words, how much nutrition is absorbed from the digestive tract into a bloodstream and how accessible and usable are those nutrients to ourselves? Other question marks include the variability of nutrient levels based on where and how the algae is grown and issues related to potential contamination with heavy metals or other environmental toxins. You can consume too much. Sea moss is likely a rich source of iodine, although, as mentioned above, the levels may vary. This essential mineral helps produce thyroid hormones. The goal with iodine is to consume a just right amount, as both too little and too much can throw thyroid hormones out of whack. So yes, you can get too much of a good thing, and more isn't better. If you consume sea moss, be careful not to overdo it. It may be a supplement rather than a food. Sea moss is a solid in several forms, including dried, ground, or in pills or droppers. Sea moss pr products solid, I mean, sea, sea moss products sold as a dietary supplement aren't regulated in the same way as prescription drugs. They do not have to be proven to be effective or safe before they are marketed. And there is largely no way Okay, sorry guys, I had got a phone call, so back where I left off at. Um, this isn't to say that supplements should be used. I believe many are beneficial, but it is important to use caution and to take supplements with the guidance of your doctor or a dietitian who can recommend the right form dose, frequency, and length of use, or identify and potentially precaution, identify any potential precautions to be aware of. Bottom line, according, adding sea moss to an occasional smoothie or plant-based pudding is probably fine and may offer some nutritional advantages, but though, don't overdo it. Count on it as a cure-all or blindly accept all the claims about its benefits, particularly from those profiting from its sale. Most important, seek out an independent expert before you in incorporate any supplement into your daily or regular routine. All right, guys, those are some brief um, benefits and facts about sea moss. I'm about to jump right in and make this smoothie and drink it. And you guys try it too and let me know what you think. I also wanted to just point out that today I am not coughing as much. Um, my cough is actually very clear. Well, how clear can a cough be? But, you know, it's getting better. It's getting better. And I've only had one smoothie, and that was yesterday. And I was a little bit hesitant on 
making a smoothie today because I have some other things to do. But I was like, no, I didn't do my entry last night about the benefits and the facts. I said, let me go ahead and get up and let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not show you guys what I'm doing? All right, so I have a helper with me today. Her name is Violet. She's my wiggle monster because she's always wiggling around and doing all kind of stuff. So this is my daughter. So Violet, she's gonna help me make a smoothie today. What we first gotta do? Rinse. Yeah, we gotta rinse the cup. Rinsing the cup. And okay, after we give it a quick rinse, I'm gonna rinse the blade. Oh, that's scary. That's a scary boy. <laughs> All right, Violet. So, where's my fruit, Violet? Oh, okay. Get the fruit, Violet. Come here. All right. Hold the cup. Let me get the scissors so that I can open this, Violet. Yep. kind of messed up just now. I did not break the fruit up before I cut it open. So we hope that we don't get it everywhere. All right. Show them. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And you know what? I might go buy some fresh fruit and do this. Throw that away. And do this with some fresh fruit. All right. Come on, Violet. Hurry up. I'm coming. Go wash your hands. Thanks. Quick break. Gotta wash our hands. All right, hold the fruit, Violet. We have our pineapple juice. Yeah, pineapple, pineapple. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 
Now you just turn it to the right. Can you do that? To the right. I mean to the left. Hold on, baby. Let me do it. All right, so we're back on. Um, Like we're just about there, and today we're gonna give the kids some. Nope. Yeah. I want some. I want little. Okay, and I also brought a glass cup because I want to show y'all. <laughs> show you exactly the um density and the color of it. So notice I didn't do that yesterday. <laughs> Hold on, it's not safe. No, no, no. You just unleashed it. You just unleashed what I never ate in my okay, 2020s. Here. Hey, no, that's my cup. I want a little. I'm How does that taste, Lolly? I love it. Okay, she loves it. Oh, this is gonna be tasty. Okay, can you taste it so you can let us know? It tastes like green machine, the other green machine. Green machine, the other green machine? Yeah, the, the blueberry one. No, that the blue machine. The pink, no, the pink purple, the pink, pinkish purple. Mango magnet? guys thank you for watching like subscribe share tag hashtag that's little raymond that's violet we out keep god first Woo. god bless